Kitty and I want to take you around the garden today on the deck and talk about lettuce. We can talk about so many things on lettuce, but let's get to the point on how easy it is to grow. Romaine lettuce for my property in Southern California has been to the best to grow. Will it bolt? Will it grow in the summer? Yeah, if you understand your plants and you understand what they need, it will grow in the summer. The best way for us to grow romaine lettuce is in a dish pan. Now why? Because I can move it. I can pick this up, it weighs next to nothing, and move it out of a hot blazing sun if it's over, let's say 80 degrees, and I don't want it in direct sunlight. Now right now, we're in winter. We're not getting quite that hot, though we can have days in the 70s. This will do fine, look how beautiful it is. There's a few pointers you need to know if you wanna grow lettuce. Let's walk around and look at this lettuce that's growing here, and the do's and the don'ts. This lettuce is also in a dish pan which I made that cover tops out of tool. But here it is in the dishpan. Now, to be honest, there's a few too many in there. But you know what? It works. The main thing with this is to keep it well watered. There was some sow thistle in here, which is a weed, and I have pulled it out. What I did was I chopped and dropped. It will work its way into the soil as I water it. Yes, I have a tomato plant in here, which I will probably move later, but you know what I found? Cilantro. I was growing cilantro in here before the lettuce and a few seeds came up. Isn't that cool? So I've got two or three cilantro plants growing. This lettuce has been doing fantastic. I water it constantly and I use all the outside leaves. See how you can see where I've been harvesting? This could go on for another month or two, which is perfect. But if it starts to die back or it bolts, bolts meaning it sends out a center shoot to create seeds for the plant to propagate well at that point that's when you can either chop it out and start again or let it do its thing and collect the seeds once it's making seeds that's a good thing because let me tell you something I bought this lettuce about five six years ago the seeds from somebody one time on eBay it was just romaine lettuce I planted it and it just went nuts and it started throwing seeds, and I have all the lettuce I want. I do collect the seeds, put them in an envelope, and when I'm ready, I just, bam, throw them into a container or wherever I want to grow them. Now, let, let's walk over here for a minute, and you'll see here I had some lettuce growing. It did go to seed, and look what it did. It dropped, look at this, all the seeds in here, and they're growing everywhere. Now, there are way too many growing in this one container. So they're staying stunted and small, but it is so easy to pick these and move them. That there's a little plant right here that's a lettuce that I can move in its own container and it will grow. The easiest plant to move is lettuce at this stage. Even getting a little bigger with a few leaves, it will appreciate getting its own container. You have one lettuce, in a small container, let's say a half gallon container, you'll get massive lettuce growing. I've had birds that have been coming in all morning and what do they do? They jump in here, they dig around and they eat the lettuce, the little tiny baby lettuce is growing. They love microgreens. Now I will recommend for some of you to cover your seedlings because see those little tiny seedlings? Well, not only do insects love them, but birds love them too. And they love eating tiny little new seedlings. So give them a good cover and you will keep the insects out as well as the birds. That's why you'd want to cover it. So when I do want to save it, I just cover the top with tool and not allow the birds to get in. So here's the thing with lettuce. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find the exact lettuce that you want to grow. I've got some growing on the windowsill over there. Now, with that, you want to grow something that's going to grow in your area. And you preferably want it to grow like a weed. If it grows like a weed, you're in a good situation where you're going to have lettuce growing even when you don't plant it. That is a very good thing. The other thing you need to know is planting it in good, so get some good potting soil or good soil that came out of another container, maybe had some totes growing and you've been composting in place like I do and then you go in there and you find the rich dark soil, that's perfect. Take that out, put it in a container and you will have lettuce growing. You can separate your lettuce. I have this growing among some ginger. 
Once you know which lettuce is good for your area and you've got it growing like a weed, what you're gonna wanna do is remember, it doesn't like super hot, so grow it in something that can be portable that you can move when it gets really, really hot. It will appreciate shade when it's hot, so you can move it in a shady area, and water. Do not let your lettuce go dry. If the soil gets dry, then what happens is you end up with really thick leaves. Now, they'll be bitter to taste, but that doesn't mean you can't use it in a green drink. You could use it in a salad still. It will just have a bitter taste. And if you continue to let it go dry, it will eventually bolt, throw a shoot straight up the top and start to develop flowers and seeds because it thinks it's dying and it wants to pass its genes on, its seeds on to, for more life later. It will do it no matter what, because when the time comes, it will still bolt. But the point is, keep your lettuce well watered. Keep it in a good location where it doesn't get over 80 degrees. And if it does, just move it out of the sunlight. And I think that is all you need to know. And once you do that, you will be able to grow all the lettuce you want. And think about layering, because anytime you layer and you put, whether it's rocks or pots around your lettuce, it will hold water next to where the roots are under here and your lettuce won't dry out. So you'll get better tasting, sweeter lettuce by always having some moisture around for the lettuce. So with that, have a wonderful day. Let's end this with a little something. I'll show you at the end about the lettuce and don't forget to eat what you grow. So if you remember three things on lettuce, you should be able to master growing all the lettuce you want. Give them space. Once they start growing in a container and they're clumped up, separate some, like this one, in a ginger plant, growing so big. The other thing is water. Make sure it never dries out. So as soon as you see it needs water, make sure you give it a little water. And the other thing is heat. It doesn't like to be over 80 degrees. It can tolerate some. So if you're growing it in a dishpan or container, move it in the shade. And that's all you need to know. And that will be it. And you should be able to grow all the lettuce that you want and have an abundance of this wonderful vegetable for free. Not everybody likes lettuce. She still loves broccoli more than lettuce. Nothing beats homegrown lettuce, especially once you start it and you have lettuce and it's continuously growing for free. Cool.